Harrison had lots in common with his famous grandpa, William Henry Harrison. He lived in Indiana, where grandpa had been governor. He was a military officer in the Civil War, like grandpa was in the War of 1812. And just like grandpa, he spent a few years in the U.S. Senate. Fortunately for Benjamin, he lasted 48 times longer in the White House. As the Republican candidate in 1888, Harrison lost the popular vote to President Cleveland, but still won the Electoral College. Harrison made his mark on foreign affairs. He proposed annexation of Hawaii and spearheaded modernizing the Navy, reflecting America's growing status as a world power. But on domestic issues, Harrison let the Republicans in Congress take control. He signed off on the McKinley Tariff, which was meant to protect U.S. industry from foreign competition. The federal money supply was expanded to cause inflation. That was supposed to help farmers who had a lot of debts. And a new Sherman Antitrust Act was meant to check the power of huge corporations. Unfortunately for Benji, all that mucking around helped tank the economy. Harrison and the Republicans got blamed, and he lost his rematch with Cleveland in 1892.